everyone, I'm Jane and welcome to my YouTube channel. Are you starting out in museum and heritage interpretation or just interested in discussing your experiences? Then this is a great way of engaging. Uh, I have been studying, researching, working in museum and heritage interpretation all my work life. Um, I've worked at many different type of, types of museums, uh, large national, national museums, small local galleries, and I've worked with many different international partners as well. But I'm still missing having a place where I can sort of gather and share my experiences and what I've learned um, over the years working in this field. Um, interpretation is something that is in constant development. It's constantly moving. So I kind of feel that um, what I'm sharing here, I hope, will kind of be outdated in a few years' time um, because it has, it has to be a practice that is uh, constantly moving. Um, and I wanted to have a place where I could sort of address um, some of the experiences and some of the, the issues, some of the questions that I have come across in my journey, um, knowing that everyone's interpretation journey will be very different and will develop in many different directions. Um, so I kind of hope you're up for that. I wanted to start really with a very simple question. What actually is museum and heritage interpretation? And as you study this, you will come across many different theoretical definitions. Um, I have picked two here just to, to kick things off and, and to give some examples. One of them a little bit older than the other and more sort of theoretical, a bit more academic in its approach. And the other one, um, uh, sort of new, but also a bit more practic uh, practical in its approach. So here goes. The process of meaning making is the process of making sense of experience, of explaining or interpreting the world to ourselves and others. The making of meaning, the construction of understanding, is reached through the process of interpretation. And the other one goes. Interpretation is a communication process that shares interesting stories and experiences that help people make sense of and understand more about a site, collection or event. Now, as you can see, one, one of these, the first one, um, is uh, trying to explain interpretation through uh, processes of meaning making and the construction of understanding. The other one mentioned uh, things like um, sharing stories and uh, also in connection with a site, collection or, in, or an event. So the content that we use really to explain interpretation. Uh, two very different definitions, but um, both of them kind of make sense in their own way. When working in interpretation, I think you also find that Interpretation is incredibly linked to so many uh, other practices like um, marketing, like storytelling, learning, education, uh, events and so on. Um, so it's a very collaborative affair really. I have found in my work that interpretation really is made up of two very important in ingredients, which is content and experience. Now, content is everything that is linked uh, to your story, really. It can be a historical building or a room you might be interpreting, so you're very much working uh, with the physical space. It can be objects and collections in an exhibition space, for example, digital content, video, audio, etc., uh, text panels, we all know, know those from, from, um, from exhibitions, uh, people and personal stories, and of course, lots of knowledge and expertise. So that's sort of the content side of it. And that's really um, what you're working with when you're doing interpretation. Of course, there, there's, there's a lot more to it than this. But on the other side, you have experience, which can be much more difficult to define, really, because that's usually something like emotions, feelings, your personal knowledge and skills, memories, previous experiences, the social context in which you're, you're visiting a museum, for example, and your state of mind, your mood. Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you worried, concerned or something like that? All this affects the experience, the overall interpretation experience and the content as well. And um, these two things are very interlinked, I find, um, and really go together when you're creating interpretation experiences. 
you have to think of it a little bit like an audience in a theatre, really. Um, there is a story, there's content, there's a stage, there's actors on the stage, um, but the story doesn't really come alive or it isn't really activated until there is an audience. Sometimes interpretation people use was what they call a call to action, uh, an encouragement, a shout, a curiosity. Uh, we've all seen in exhibitions, you know, like push this button or pull this rope or lift this lid or something like that. Um, and that can work incredibly well in, in, uh, in many exhibitions, for example. Um, but your story isn't really activated until there is someone there who is to, to share it with and someone there who is activating it. And that is usually your audience. Um, and that's also why interpretation is so linked with other practices and discipline, uh, disciplines and very dependent on them. Um, inter interpreters come from all walks of life and with so many different backgrounds. They can be anything from historians, teachers, creators, um, they can be uh, artists, they can be game designers, photographers, whatever really. Uh, but they usually share one thing, which is they want to um, create memorable experiences that link audiences with our past, our, our history. Um, and all of this and much more I would like to talk more about in upcoming videos. Um, if you want to share your experiences, I would be very happy indeed. Please subscribe, add your comments, like the video, and uh, let's start sharing.